Dr. Shiva, what's your position on vaccines? So the question is, what is my position on vaccines? Mm -hmm. So about uh, a year ago, I did a very interesting video. People could find it. It says beyond vax mm -hmm. and anti-vax, which means beyond the issue of vaccines and anti-vaccines. The first thing we need to understand is that the elites, the establishment, on any issue, be it guns, climate change, they always create a pro or an anti, right? And this never lets us get to the heart of the issue. The real issue with vaccines goes to a much deeper question, which is how do you really uh, support your health? How do you really support the immune system, right? That's really the issue. And before vaccines were created, if you go back to the history of them, right, the way we supported our immune system was that you boosted the immune system and you were exposed to all these different kinds of viruses and pathogens, et cetera. Yes. Now, obviously some people died, right? And some, and most of humanity survived, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not, I mean, there's 7.2 billion of us, okay? So that's the broad question, right? Mm -hmm. How do you uh, survive? And the uh, immune system is part of our operating system. So the real issue is how do we beef up the immune system? Now, the old model, right, was you got exposed, as I said, and you beefed it up. But around 1962, the United States government, under the leadership of John Kennedy, created the National Vaccine, Vaccine, Vaccine Act. And that was based on a old science, a hundred year old science from today, saying that the immune system was a certain type of system. It was a very rudimentary view of the immune system, a two box model. And based on that, the CDC was created, they started creating the vaccine guidelines, and as a result of that, by 1986, 24 years later, after the Kennedy Vaccination Act, lots of people were getting injured, lots of lawsuits. So instead of getting rid of that act, which was one size fits all medicine, they didn't do that. You know what they did? Ted Kennedy, then another Kennedy, everyone needs to re realize this, did a band aid. They created the National Vaccine Injury Program, which, and it was, it was horrible because it said if your kid got injured, you can go to courts. You, you went to a vaccine court under the executive branch. They completely violated the Constitution and they protected the vaccine manufacturers. That's what they did, okay? So since then, you have another Kennedy, Robert Kennedy, who's a fake fighter. He's actually all pro-vaccines, if you actually hear his video. And he says that he wants full vaccination for all. You can read his video, it says I'm emphatically. But he's been involved in the quote unquote anti-vaccine movement, basically not to really address the real medical freedom issue, but negotiating with legislators, talking from both sides of the mouth. My position on vaccines is that one size does not fit all. And you're looking at someone who actually was asked to deliver the prestigious lecture at the National Science Foundation in November of 2019 on the modern theory of the immune system. And what the modern theory of the immune system shows is that you have the gut bacteria, the innate system, the adaptive system, the interferon, the neural, it's a very complex system. My view is that you cannot tell top down everyone to have the same vaccines. It has to be a decision, a choice. So all you pro-choice people, this is the problem with pro-choice and pro-life, the words are getting misused and it's total confusion, which I also want to talk about later, but if you're truly pro-choice, then you should support people's right to school choice, if you want body choice, vaccine choice, all of it, but they don't. They split it all and it's a very confused world. But the bottom line is, you and your physician or your healthcare should decide what's right for you. That's the real issue. It should not be top-down medicine. And bottom line is that the government should not be telling you what you should put into your body, okay? And that's what we're talking about. The vaccine question is bigger than vaccines. Where we really want to go is to personalized medicine, precision medicine, the right medicine for the right person at the right time. Right medicine. So, if, if you know, based on your assessment, you think you could build up the immune system. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. You need to boost the immune system. Okay. Vaccines are a pale attempt to mimic the body's natural immunity. I hope that answers. Your yes, question. it does. Thank you very okay, much. Okay. Thank you. Thank be you. Well. Okay, be well. Vote for Dr. Shiva Ayyadurai on September first.